I'm trying to remember, but I keep getting distracted by the Jackman abs. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Reminiscent. Uh, you might be wondering what I'm wearing. This is a 3G cotton camera harness. I'm actually testing this out because I'm shooting a wedding tomorrow. There's actually a second pocket here for a, a second camera. But yeah, I went and saw Reminiscent. This is essentially the dream team of the Westworld staff, except for Jonathan Nolan, if I'm correct. Uh, written and directed by Lisa Joy. Has a lot of Westworld alumni, excluding even Rachel Wood, but it has Thania Newton. It has the one girl who keeps on getting killed over and over and over and over and over again. She looks like kind of a French alien. And it's about the idea of being able to tap into people's memories not only in terms of helping them cope with past traumas or the losses of life but also as a means of getting information out of people or in this case finding out what happens when someone disappears hugh jackman is kind of a personal investigator he runs the business and he gets infatuated with this woman she disappears and there is this breadcrumb trail and this all leads into this somewhat not very distant future of a noir sort of setting where the world is flooded over there's still kind of modern tech but also old tech it's kind of a cool idea but i feel that the idea of it is much better on paper than it is executed not to say that the film is bad i actually don't think it's too bad i think some ideas are really good some ideas are brilliant other ideas though kind of come out like a wet fart others just don't have anything to them the whole idea of the world being flooded for instance it's a cool visual it has a cool idea in terms of that the world still continues on but we're all kind of living like it's venice but does that really have anything else to do with the story than every water being everywhere not really there's this war that supposedly happened because of it but it's always mentioned in passing and the dialogue about it is so generic that you could just mix and match it for any other kind of dialogue like that also they talk about how apparently now because of global warming the world now operates at night to the point where even wars are fought at night which makes no fucking sense a ton of drone shots with this water but it doesn't really amount to anything also all the buildings look pretty goddamn good if this this much water damage these buildings will be falling apart because of this shit this cool use of this technology in terms of being able to tap into people's memories. At first it's kind of very basic and then there's interactions, there's kind of this falling down the rabbit hole. Mind you, the rabbit hole is only about this high because there is this really cool transition, the sudden transition to the idea that you're not really watching what you think you're watching and they only ever do it once. They never do this again and that's something that I feel it was a little bit of a wasted opportunity. The idea that Jackman is so obsessed with finding out what happened to her that he's tapping through all of his memories and all of his past interactions with her, but he doesn't really seem to have any kind of consequence to it other than his own obsession. Not anything that you would think would be neurological considering how much he's going under. And that kind of brings me to Jackman's character. I like his character, but I don't like his narration. It has so much exposition in it. I feel that there's a lot of world building that could have been done through other characters, through other things, but he's kind of just explaining things for the sake of explaining them. Oddly enough, I'm still thinking about the movie, so it's not a bust. It's not an entire failure. Some people are really ripping into this movie, and I can understand those reasons. I think it's pretty okay in certain aspects. There is a shootout that happens at one point, though, that's pretty freaking ridiculous. There is a moment where Hugh Jackman holds his breath for so goddamn long that he somehow passes out and then wakes back up in the water to then emerge and not drown to death which makes no fucking sense once again but you can get that westworld vibe you see lisa joy really tap into the humanity and the philosophical elements of westworld at least i would almost say the second season because the first season's fantastic the second season's kind of eh. i like the third one at first but then after kind of rethinking about it it's not that great I feel that this is just below season two almost i like the idea of it i think that i was more entertained with the idea of this movie than the actual movie itself because the movie does leave you a little bit lacking does it have some cool twists and turns for a noir style of story i did enjoy some of those twists i do like the conclusion of the story not just with jackman's character even if it is a bit cheesy 
but also with with his investigation with his partners that he works with it's not technically speaking new it's not genuine but it has some genuine elements to it to not make it a complete dud in the end reminiscent has a cool idea i like the idea of it it's well shot the music's okay i was expecting a little bit more considering the composer who i'm not going to try and pronounce but he worked on westworld and uh, game of thrones and the dude's like really freaking good so considering his pedigree i thought the music was a little bit Huh? Otherwise, I can't say don't go and see it if you're interested in this kind of thing. I wanted to go and see it. I went and saw it. I'm like, okay, but then I'm probably never going to watch this again. So in the end, I'm going to give Reminisce a 3 out of 7. It's unfortunate, too, because I, I really was looking forward to this, but I have a feeling that Lisa Joy is now kind of in this decline. Unless Westworld Season 4 is a real turn up i kind of wonder if all of the creative juices that she had are kind of gone otherwise guys i hope you enjoyed the review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic tv show undergrads it's been a while but i'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie thanks to a successful kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.